So we actually got a bus this morning from Couture to Mostar. It was like what four and a like half four, hours, four and yeah. half hours. But when we got into Mostar, we were absolutely wrecked. So we just came straight to our apartment and went for a power nap. <laughs> yeah. Once we got in and kind of seen the apartment we had booked, we were so happy with it. It was so so cozy, and the bed looked amazing. We're rebooted now and ready to go out and explore Mostar. So I think we're gonna head to Old Town yeah. and see what see, see what's, what's about. about. See what's about. <laughs> So our accommodation is actually only a short walk from Old Town so we've just walking around here and we're in search of the Starigrad Mo no Star Mo Star Old Bridge. Star was actually affected during the war that happened here in like the early 90s and there was a lot of damage done to Mostar in general and this bridge was one of the main things that was affected by it. This bridge actually collapsed in 1993 as a result of the war but in 2004 it was actually reopened again to the public after a massive reconstruction project. So, so that's how you who all, what all countries contributed to the rebuild of the bridge and the rebuild of the town and how much each country gave towards it. Very cool. streets in Old Town here in Mostar all evening and we've had an absolutely lovely time but it is now freezing so we are going to call it a night and head back home to the apartment where it's lovely and warm and cosy. We're here for a few days so we'll come back yeah. out and explore in the day like the next tomorrow or the next day. Yeah so we have plenty of time so no rush to squeeze everything in. So Mostar Old Town is actually really really lovely and beautiful to walk around and it's just very authentic and kind of, I don't even know, it's just, just a really really nice place to walk around but once you kind of like walk out of the Old Town and start walking around some of the side streets and some of like the main kind of streets around Old Town and even farther out it's actually like quite sad because there's so much damage still from the war that happened. Buildings here are riddled with bullet holes and like it's just crazy to see and mad to think like it all happened like not that long ago at all like within our lifetime like. So whenever we were actually driving into Mostar we were able to see this massive like concrete building that's behind us here and I was really really curious to find out what it was because it's huge it is a really really odd shape and it's just completely abandoned and a complete old ruins we were able to find out that it was a central bank and it was used as a sniper point supposedly whenever we like we're looking it up online we like doing a bit of research and stuff and supposedly it was actually used as like a sniper tower as well during the war here in Bosnia and this kind of area that we're in at the minute was kind of like the firing line and the front line during the war as well so it's pretty crazy to like be walking around and stuff we're riding on a roundabout here in the center and like at all three points of the roundabout there's just buildings in the exact same condition as this one yeah. right behind us here ruined like just completely ruined and then like beside it like there's some like really really modern and fresh buildings that have clearly just gone up in like recent years which is like really good and positive to see as well that they are like slowly making a recovery from the war but yeah it's hard to like look past like all the old ruins and the old buildings as well it is just very very sad to see so the buildings absolutely riddled with bullet holes and like I would say there's a lot of bullets fired towards here and from here during the war which is crazy as well but it's just completely abandoned and quite creepy and eerie to look at. Hey. 
We find more Christmas markets. It's Christmas. Look at all the presents up in the tree. Well, they're Christmas decorations. Really is giving them a 10 out of 10 yeah, for Christmas I think decorations. This is the best decorations we've seen yet, and we've seen some pretty good ones. Christmas everywhere. <laughs> 